Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make my little goldfish. I'm going to use a single loom. It's going to be horizontal and the arrows are going to be facing towards the right hand side. And we are going to double band. Now I have got two different colours of orange and when I double band what I'm doing is putting one of each together like that to mix up the texture of the um, of the fish. So we're going to start down here placing our two rubber bands And it doesn't really matter which one goes on top or which one goes on the bottom because it just mixes it up, which is a nicer effect. I try and just straighten my bands up a little bit by wiggling my hook around. From this peg to this peg we're going to put three white bands for the eye. Like that. We're going to do something a bit tricky with the eye. What we're going to do is take a clear band and using a threader, I use a little piece of wire that's turned over on itself and I do have a tutorial on how to make one of those if you're interested. So using a clear band with my threader, I'm going to get two tiny little black seed beads and loop those onto it. You might need a little pair of the uh, pliers to help with that. One, and then number two. Oops. just be gentle because the wire can cut your band and if that does happen then you have to yeah you see it's made it a little bit weak but I think we'll be okay now what we're going to do space it out like that what we're going to do is put the first side under here so we'll take this band off the three white bands and we're going to put this little bit, this one here, just one side around this hook, around this pe peg, and have it faced this way. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is thread our three white bands through the middle there. It can be a bit tricky. So keep that on there. Grab your three white bands and put them on this side here. Pop this side on there and now digging with our hook down the middle you're going to hook those three white bands onto your hook and it doesn't matter if you do them one at a time or two at a time grab the three white bands and you're going to place them on the peg in front I've got two of them, I've got one more to get it's like going fishing <laughs> grab it there we go and pop that on there Okay. Now, we will be doing a bit of fiddling with this after the fact to straighten up his eyes, but at least we have them in the right spot. We'll continue with doing our bands. Oops. 
still double banding. down to here and one more across to here. Now we're going to make his little fins and we have to put his little fin one under these two bands. So I'm going to lift that band off and put it there so it's going to sit on here. What we're going to do and I use my smaller hook which is the 2.75 Take a single band and wrap it around four times. So let's do that again. Put your hook in. That's one, two, three, four. Okay. And then you're going to get a single band, stretch it out, do a figure eight, and put your hook on it and slide that down. Okay. Straighten it out. Now, this bit gets a bit tricky. You're going to take one end off, and I like to use another hook to hold it. If you don't have another hook, use a toothpick or anything that can hold it for you. I didn't do that very cleverly. There we go. So it's almost like knitting needles. You're going to get another single band, stretch it, figure eight, and slide it onto the, the first one, like that, and hook that on. Pull it so it's stretched out and even, and then take the other one and put it back on your hook. And you're going to do the same, another single band, stretch it, figure eight, slide it on and you're just going to hook it through those two, those first two like that and like so. So you're like this, okay? Now you're going to get another single band, stretch it, figure eight and you're going to slide all of those onto that band. hook the end onto your hook. Try and straighten it out. My bands are a bit twisted but that's okay. Now this is going to be his little fin. What you're going to do now is take the two bands that are closest to you, pick them up, pull them over the end of your hook and drop them off so you've knotted them. Okay? And that is going to go on here with the little fin pointing down. You're then going to take these bands back and place it back over. All right. I'm going to do the same for the next fin. A single band, one, two, three, four. Get a single band, stretch it out, figure eight, slide that on. Keeping your finger in this side, you're working on this side. Get a band, figure eight, And you're going to slide this, oopsie, come here, just this side onto it, okay, like so, and hook that on. Put this side back on your hook, and you're going to do the same for this side. Single band, stretch it out into a figure eight, just those two last bands are going on it like that. Okay. Now you're going to get a single band, stretch it, figure eight, and you're going to slide all of those onto that. Loop your end on, take this end that's closest to you, drop it over the end of the hook, 
and you're going to slip that onto the same peg so those two fins are there okay now we're going to do the bit at the top the top fin here and what we're going to do is take a band and twist it on itself you need about five of these I'm using a different color orange twist it on itself twist it on itself twist it on itself and the last one twist it on itself take two bands and slide all of those on it and they will be very loose so don't worry about that hook your hook onto the end like so straighten it out a bit get another two bands and slide that on like that now these bands are going to go on this peg and this peg so the first one is going to go here oops try not to drop it and then here for that one in the middle what we're going to do is get our hook find the middle of those two bands and place that bit there like so okay so it's stretched between but you've actually got you've you've got this peg included in it as well all right and you can sort of pretty these up a bit stretch them out so they're even then we're going to do his tail his tail fin you're going to take a single band wrap it around your hook one twice three times and four times and you're going to get a double band and you're going to slide that on and hook the other end in do it again single band one two three double band and slide it on now I mix this up a bit with clear bands what you're going to do is take one orange and one clear and we're going to just put that over the first one like that and I use a different hook to transfer those onto while I'm working on the others next we're going to put these two on the same as we just did so grab an orange band and a clear band pop it on the end here and slide first that one and then the other one slide it on and move it to your other hook and last but not least this little one grab a clear band and an orange band slide it on and put it with your others so we're now like this now what we're going to do is put these three bands on one and these three bands on another so grab an orange and a clear put it on the end of your hook and you're going to do the three one two and then the middle one here just one of them so you're down to two put them on your other hook you're going to work on these three now one two three take an orange and a clear put it on the end and move these three over one two three put it on your hook now move them all onto the same hook so that you can see what you're dealing with you've basically got a band here a pair of bands here and a pair of bands here we're going to squish them together like so with a pair of orange bands so a pair of orange bands and you're going to move all of these onto it 
like that and put oops sorry put it on one band then you're going to take the pair of bands that are closest to you slip them off the end of your hook pull it so that it's almost like a knot and that is going to go right here oops at the end of your tail like so now we're going to do our crossover bands I do put one here to make his nose slightly more tight a single band stretch it out we're doing it three times one sorry one two so it's got three on it and if you can't stretch it use a hook to help you put it over the first pin and stretch it this one is just going to be looped on itself so a single band figure eight and loop the same figure eight and loop figure eight and loop this one is going to be three so a single band loop it once and again using your hook to help you because it's tight put it on the first pin and stretch it across now we're going to be ready to do our hooking bet you never thought you'd be doing hooking huh <laughs> all right pull the tail back and the last two bands that were placed should be at the top you're going to take them while keeping the tail pushed down and loop them to the corresponding pin and the middle and then loop this one down and loop this one down. Now these ones are tight because this has been looped three times. We have got a broken band here. I'm going to take that one off and I'll get a new one. And if you look, the new one has to go under here but over the top here. So I'm going to poke my hook down and pull that band up and loop it like that. And then I'm going to loop my hook down there and pull it so I've encased that. Okay, so let's continue. Make sure you're getting the two bottom bands. Just the two bottom ones. And for the eyes, you're finding three white bands. Leave the clear band there. Again, this is going to be tight because you've got it wrapped around three times there. Gently pull it, and if you need to, put your hook down and loosen it. Find it two. Now, again, you're going to leave the clear band. You're just going to find the two orange bands here. There we go and move it forward. Now we're going to get two clear bands. Push your hook down the middle of the last channel, peg, put your two clear bands on, twist your hook so you're not going to snag those other bands, pull it round to the front side of the peg, or the rounded back side of it, taking the two that are closest to you, pull them over the other two and off your hook and tighten it up. Then I use the back of a crochet hook and I'm going to just ease this off my loom. Don't worry too much about the eyes at this stage because we are going to fiddle with them. Make sure you get this little Thin. one has to be popped out this side 
and the other is on the other side. So you've got to fin each side, Get his tail, and now all we have to do is find he's got two eyes this side, well one belongs on the other side. It doesn't matter which one you push through, but it's going to go between the white bands. Use a hook and pull the clear band through. And make sure you've got the clear band the other side as well. And there you have a little goldfish.